Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Stranger Cats, and today we're going to be playing The Man from the Window 2. I'm having trouble waking up. I know I'm waking up at like 4, it is currently 8 o'clock right now, and I'm just, I'm not awake. Probably because I haven't been sleeping for two weeks, so. I apologize for not being as lively or energetic as usual, I will try to fake it, but uh, lack of sleep kind of catches on eventually, so. Anyway, let's get into the game. Normal or tough? In normal mode, you are given a notepad to help keep track of things. I want to do tough, but also like I'm sleep deprived. And I don't have a good memory already. We can do this again. We can do this a second time. So we're going ahead. We're going to go ahead and try tough just because I want to. These the same characters? It is. Hey, Junior. Oh my gosh, Junior's grown up? <gasps> what? Oh gosh. The man from the window's gonna haunt them again. That's just wrong. Did I give her a voice or did I just read it? I don't know. Hey, Ma. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I had a few minutes left to spare before my break's over. So I figured I'd give you two a call just to check in, you know? Oh, thank you, hon. We're both fine over here. I found a few extra dollars in my purse, so we ordered some takeout. Shouldn't take too much longer to get here, I reckon. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Y'all to enjoy. I'd better get off this phone and get back to work then. Went off. We've got a bunch of stuff to move out of here tonight, and it's my turn to drive the forklift. Tell little Missy I said hello, will ya? Will do, hon. Thanks, Ma. We'll talk later. Little Missy? Does he have a little sister? Audrey. Grandma? Oh, so he's got a daughter? Wow, they really have time, time jumped, haven't they? Yeah, Grandma? Your Papa says hello. He's still at work? Yep, he called during his break. Now, did you finish that homework of yours yet? Yeah, I did, Grandma. Good. That's what I'd like to hear. Take out? <laughs> or the man from the window. Oh, that's probably the food. I'll get it. So is she like a teenager? Huh? I could have sworn I heard someone out here knock. Didn't you, Audrey? Uh-huh. It's the book. Ah, <sighs> oh my stars. Here we go again. Audrey, he's back. So Audrey just knows? Like, how many times has this happened to them? Why is the man so insistent on this family? The man? Uh-huh. He sure is annoying, ain't he? Isn't he, hun? I don't want you speaking messed up English like Grandma does. But yes, he is. Love how she grabs the book. Well, she is pretty short. We're going to go through this book together this time, okay? And I want you to pay close attention, Audrey. Your papa and I ain't always going to be here, so you need to know how to do this for yourself. I understand, Grandma. I think. Time will pass. The seasons may change. We know that nothing can ever stay the same. But still, the man continues to play his twisted game. For the simplest of requests is all he's ever wanted. In his unending search, these dark streets he has haunted. Once night falls, you know he's on the prowl. Keep far away, else you'll meet a fate that is assuredly most foul. A faint tapping at one's window has always been his herald. So spend these next five minutes wisely, or you may find yourself suddenly imperiled. 
Now proceed with caution and proceed with haste, for the man has learned that there's no time to waste. The rest of the pages have been torn out. Wait, do we have to like look for the pages? You can close it? That might be a good idea, because then he won't know. It's the fridge. Okay. It's our kitchen's closet. Okay, okay, okay. How far can we go down? Can we die? <laughs> okay, let's go back up into the not so safety of our apartment. Okay. Well, we got four minutes. <laughs> There's a bathtub. Congratulations to Miss Diana Rabbit on your retirement after 38 years of faithful service. It's our clothes hamper. Okay, so another hiding spot, I assume. I guess we can hide in the shower. It's the bathroom sink. Okay. Look at the mirror. Love that. Okay. Whoops. It's a hall closet. The roof leaks when it rains, so we took everything out of here. Okay, um, let's read the book. All these years, the search is, the man has searched his quest he never forsook. The empty room is where he will look next. Well, next look. Okay, not the empty room. In his quest for a friend, the man never grows bored. Soon he will look at the place where the food is stored. So the fridge... Not many things could stop the man, neither force nor containment. Now he will look under the box, watched for entertainment. Okay, under the TV. The man is happiest when his hunt for a friend is afoot. His next move is to search the place where the boxes were put. Okay, so not the kitchen closet. Despite his loneliness, the man does not stop to weep. He will next check under the place where you sleep, so under the bed. Not finding a friend is an outcome the man won't accept. He will look next where the unclean clothes are kept, the hamper. The man remains vigilant. His hopes tonight will not be squashed. His next course of action is to look in the place where the clothes are washed. Okay. Uh, what was the bathtub last time? Smiling ear to ear, the man always knows. Smiling ear to ear, the man's always showing his teeth. The next place he'll check is the sink with the cabinet underneath. Okay. Uh, we have two minutes. Um, yeah, Grandma? Follow me. I don't know where I'm putting you, but follow me. We can't put you under the bed. Or in the hamper. Um. You will check that first. I heard a door open. You're going to the <laughs> bathtub. It's nice having a natural bathtub. Hide Audrey in there. <laughs> um, I thought I heard a door open, so. But he's gonna check under there. He's gonna. Mm -hmm. He's gonna check in there. There's no way to, like, slow him down this time. Wouldn't that be scary if he was just right there? <laughs> um, he's gonna check under the bed. I can't hide under the bed. I'm just gonna be out in the open when he comes. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna check in there. I mean, it's Audrey's bed. I ain't fitting under there. So that was the only one I could select. Does that mean he can only, so there's only one bed you can look under, I guess. What if we just hide in the bathroom? <laughs> Like, you won't find this here, right? Theoretically, if he never comes into the room, 
Here we go. It was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance. And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time the man was ready. Oh geez, he just broke it down. Checks the empty room first. The man looked inside the hall closet. But he found nothing. The man looked inside the fridge. But he found nothing. The man looked inside the TV stand. But he found nothing. The man looked inside the kitchen closet, but he found nothing. The man looked under the bed, but he found nothing. The man looked inside the clothes hamper, but he found nothing. The man looked inside the old wash tub, but he found nothing. He had to get on the ground to get a good look in there. The man looked inside the sink cabinet, but he found nothing. The time was now 8 or 3, and though he still had plenty of time left, the man had run out of places to search. So as quickly as he arrived, he left. Oh my gosh, it did work. Yeah, and stay gone this time. Don't think you can just run in here and mess with grandma and me. Because I'll... Uh, never mind. There's the takeout. What voice did I give him? I don't remember. Howdy there, ma'am. I've got an order here for Miss Diane. That's me. Finally, I'm starving after all that hiding. Let's eat. I mean, I could go with some food right now. Hey, Junior, you missed the excitement. <laughs> Oh, hey, Ma. You sure are up late tonight, aren't you? Uh-huh. I was waiting to tell you about something. Yeah, what's up? The man showed up again today. Oh, no. Is Audrey okay? Don't worry, hon. She's fine. But I wanted to tell you that she handled herself really well tonight, all considering. It won't be too long before she's ready to deal with the man all by herself, I'd reckon. That's my girl. She's one tough cookie, all right. She takes after her grandma, you know. Well, ain't that the truth. Thanks, hon. Now that I've told you that, I'd better get to bed. Good night, Junior. Good night, Ma. See you in the morning. Oh, wow, we got two stars. Is that because of the beat top load? <laughs> you know, I'm pretty proud of myself. Both the first one and this one, I was able to be on the first go. Considering I'm sleep deprived and I was able to remember everything. I mean, I don't know if that was technically how I was supposed to win. But I have no idea where else there was a hiding spot that he wasn't going to look. I do miss that in the first game you could actually like put out donuts for him to... Um, eat to slow down time. Uh, you can see him approaching through the people. I do miss that. Uh, I liked putting stuff up where you can delay him. So I do miss that in this one. I do think this one looks a little bit nicer. And I do like that you have to actually search for the pages. I would have liked where 
tough mode was more tough. Like, not only did you have to slow him down, but you had to look for pages. Let's go ahead and see the other endings because we did that with the first one. So we'll do that with this one too. And it is a short game, so we got time. I just need to know enough to know where he's looking. Yeah, I have to grab all the pages anyway. Does it matter if that's open, I wonder? That would be interesting. Well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let him find both of us. I saw like a little bit like a white appear on those blinds and I thought like he was speaking through the window. No, that's just like a little visual glitch. <laughs> It, it would be interesting if this time he would take both rather than just one. I'll have you one more page around here. Oh, jeez. Oh, it was hiding. Okay. In his quest for a friend, the man never grows bored. Soon he will look in the place where the food is stored. So, the fridge. Smiling ear to ear, the man always, sh always showing his teeth. The next place he'll check is the sink with the cabinet underneath. Okay, finding a friend is the priority for the man and nothing could be dearer. Next, he would check the place under the mirror. Oh, oh, so she could hide there. Oh, the man is happiest when his hunt for a friend is afoot. His next move is to search the place where the boxes were put. Okay. Actually, we're going to leave that open and we're going to tell Audrey to go there because he's supposed to look in the fridge first. Okay, with the window open, I am going to hide. Oh wait, I can't hide in here? <laughs> what? I wanna know if, if you leave the blinds open, if you will actually know exactly where you are, which would be interesting. If he finds Audrey immediately, we'll know that he's looking through the windows, even though you never actually see him there, which is disappointing, but you know. It was exactly 8 p.m. when the man approached the entrance door. And though he only had five minutes to accomplish his goals that night, this time the man was ready. And since the blinds had been left open, he knew exactly where to look. Ah, they do. That's a cool feature. The man looked inside the sink cabinet. And then he finally found his new friend. Sorry, Audrey. The time was exactly midnight when Junior received an unexpected call from home. From the other side of the phone emitted a series of distorted and indiscernible sounds. And after a few moments, the line went dead. Knowing full well that something was amiss, Junior immediately rushed home. What would he find upon his return? Only time would tell. His mom didn't call him? They should they should have put him in one of these dark corners just watching. Because I'm fully expecting it and I will jump. You know what's disturbing is, you know, not only has he been haunting this family for like years, like... Junior was a little kid when he first started this. He can go inside their house to place the pages to warn them where he's gonna look. Unless I'm missing something, the wash basin, the old bathtub, and the shower are the only two places where where I can hide, but he's not gonna check those places this time, so I actually have to sit here. It's only 7.57, so I actually have to stand here and wait. This time, the man was ready. And there she is. <laughs> the man had finally found his new friend. Hey, Ma, why is the front door wide open? Hello? Audrey? Oh. Audrey, what happened? And where's your grandma at? Audrey, come on. I need you to talk to me. Was it? I suppose now on the floor. <laughs> well, I assume that's all the endings. If not, I apologize for that. 
but uh, I honestly don't know what else I could try that would get us a different result. So I'm assuming that's all. Although wouldn't it be kind of cool if um, we could pick up like that broom and like fight him? <laughs> With how fast he is, it probably won't be uh, very effective, but it would be cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you guys are still here, make sure you go ahead and click the like button. It supports my channel and it supports me. Uh, I really do love making content for you guys, so I would appreciate that. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? You made it through the entire video. That means you liked something. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. You can always unsubscribe later if you decide you're not interested in my content or me anymore. That's always fine. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And don't be a stranger. Because I'll see you later. Bye!